Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas! Last time we left off, we got the rock flower and we're heading towards... I hope, we're heading towards... what's the face? Smiley Jack, whatever the hell she were called, Sunset Smiles. Smiley Smiley. I can sleep in this bed. Sleep for an hour. And sleeping doesn't rest sleeping doesn't restore your health. Or maybe you have to sleep for a few hours. Let's try it. Five hours sleep. Restore my health. No. Okay, well, that's another thing taken off my list of things that I can't bloody do. Well, at least it's daytime, anyway. I've rested my weary head. Oops. Yes. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Bit thirsty and hungry. Bit of breakfast required, I think. But first I'll see what we're gonna do with this lady. She might cook us up something quite nice to eat for breakfast. Hey, isn't that right, Smiles? Sunny Smiles. What do I call him? Sunset Smiles? Oh, I knew it was something to do with the sun. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I see something running in the distance. Stand by, I'll be back. Where's it going off to? Oi! Bloody gecko! Scampering. No, 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 no! Oh, I didn't want to do this. What have I done? Oh, flaming Nora. Load again. Hey, Sonny. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Oh. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Healing powder? What do I have to do? Ah, so in the fire, I need certain survival points to make certain things. One of which is healing powder. Anti-venom, cures animal poison, animal cocktail, atomic cocktail, I can make food. Fire and fricassee. Sounds absolutely delicious, I have to tell you that. Tanned fire gecko hide. What does this do? Tanned gecko hide? Tanned golden gecko hide? My god, what the hell? Anyway, I can make... Party time mentats. Some honey mess. Gita pods, mentats, and whiskey. To make all sorts of drugs. Restore limb condition. Cave fungus. <laughs> it's all so overwhelming. Anyway, healing powder. Minus one perception, but plus one hit point over 18 seconds. That's a load of crap, isn't it? Okay. I'll make one of them. They've made it. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay, okay. I'll meet this Trudy lady. Oh, it's only, only right that I do so. Uh, first of all, let me just try this healing powder that I so, uh, you know. Huh. Oh, I can repair like this. Yeah, I can. So what the hell? What the hell's a repair thing for then? Back at the re reloading bench or the workbench, there was some kind of repair recipe I could make. I don't understand. Or maybe that's a way to repair an item without having to combine two items together for rare weapons. I don't know. So it's gonna be. 
find out eventually, I suppose. But yes, we can use other weapons to repair like the old version. Oh, there we go. That's handy to know. So like now, the varmint rifle, because I don't have another varmint rifle, I can't repair it, so maybe the reload, the re repair recipe thing might be just to repair it without needing a second weapon of the same identical weapon. I'm just rambling now. Healing powder! Come on! Hmm. What the hell?! Hello there. <laughs> it's good to see a friendly face. Flame in hell! I took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Yeah, and I was took you Don't for a raider. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. What? Go on. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Okay. What's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Okay, let's, let's just uh, slow things down, Mr. Holmes. First of all, I've got to get over the shock of you trying to flame and ambush me. But, okay, what kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Hmm. And where can I find more of these things? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now. But somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus who does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. Who is Festus? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Okay, so I guess you collect these caps yourself, or that you won't be following me and harassing me like this, would you? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Okay, I'll bear your information in mind, but I've really got to get going. I've got some things to do. And for God's sake, don't sneak up on me again. Next time I'll blow your flaming head off. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Alan Marks? You have anything to trade anyway? You said you wanted to trade. Oh, he's just bullcrapping. Hmm. Pop him in his head and take his stuff. That would not be the thing to do. Funny as it may be initially, I'm sure the guilt will catch up with me eventually. What? Let's have a look at this. Sunset Sarsaparilla Blue st uh, Star Bottle Cap. And they said the way to get them is from other bottles of sarsaparillas. So if I drink the sarsaparilla... If I... Uh, I can find the damn thing. If I drink the Sunset Sarsaparilla, which I need to do because I'm a bit thirsty, I believe, right now. Thirsty is an understatement. And hungry. I'll have a drink when I get back to the bar, but if I drink the sarsaparilla... Okay, um... I should get a blue star cap off the top of it. Oh well, I'll keep my eye open, I suppose. 
which way is the town? Just follow the blip. Take me right to Trudy. Oh, is that somebody up there? No, it's a fence. Jumping at bloody shadows now. I've got bloody. Can't remember. The... Can't remember the name of that gang that just attacked me when I was killing Gecko and then flaming people jumping out and having a heart attack over some f little poxy caps. What's this? Seems all these places have become unboarded all of a sudden. Yeah, they have. I'm sure these places have all become unlocked. They were boarded up before. Anyway, I'll s leave them be for now. One there as well. Hey, buddy. That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Oh, this is the one I came to first, isn't it? No, no, no. Oh, it is, yeah. So there's another two down there. Right, okay. I'll bear that in mind if I need to, to prospect your goods from you. General store. This is where we make the things. To make the 9mm rounds, I need lead powder pistol. What's this? Break down 0.22 LR. Oh, that's to break it down into its. Con yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. So this is just used to make bullets or break down bullets. That's simple enough. I can get that. I can get that. The workbench, on the other hand. Conversion, I don't understand that. Or convert an ECP to an MFC. Or an ECP to an SEC. Oh, so basically converting microfusion cells into electronic packs and so on and so forth. Or energy cells. Okay, that's, yeah, I get that as well now. Bulk of mine is fairly simple. Electronic charge pack, max charge. I assume that this is a, an add on, maybe? Overcharge, max charge, overcharge, homemade, max charge, overcharge. That might be like a type. Recycling electronic charge pack. Oh, so you get drain packs and you can make them into proper ones. Same with energy cells. Might as well do that. Recycling energy cells, stim packs, super stim packs, type on weapon. weapon repair kit. There you go, repairs current weapon. So I need scrap metal, scrap electronics, and wrenches. So this is to repair weapons without the need of another weapon of the, of the same, I think. For super stim packs, leather belt, you could call her, muck fruit, normal stim packs, brock flowers, empty syringes, and xander roots. Okay. Okay, so now that I've actually had a proper look at the workbench and the reload station, actually it makes a lot more sense. It's not quite as complicated as it first appeared. Slowly but surely beginning to sink in, and it will just take a little bit more time. But eventually, we'll be up and running. And after 20 hours of gameplay, we'll be looking back and thinking, What the hell are we so stupid and slow about? But there we go. So, join me next time when this adventure shall continue. I'll see you soon.